There are so many great cities in the Buckeye state of Ohio, and the state's capital, Columbus, is arguably one of its finest. There are so many fun and exciting things to do in Columbus, it's difficult to know where to start. It's the 14th largest city in the U.S. The housing market is currently red hot, the job market is prime, and people from all over the world are finally discovering all Columbus has to offer. In this video, you'll find 20 fun things to do and sights to see in Columbus, Ohio. COSI, the Center of Science and Industry, or COSI for short, offers a ton of hands-on activities that those who are either young or young at heart will love. There are plenty of permanent interactive exhibits, but the center also features several seasonal and rotating exhibits and IMAX films every year. Columbus Zoo and Aquarium The Columbus Zoo has regularly been listed as one of the nation's best, and that's for good reason. It's jam-packed full of exotic animals and exciting activities to do for children and guests of all ages. Check out the fantastic Heart of Africa exhibit where you can hand feed a real live giraffe. Ohio History Center Brush up on your Ohio history with informative and interactive exhibits. Special events such as the Night at the Museum Sleepover are held throughout the year and are a big hit with families. North Market Ohio's only public market can be found in Columbus, and it's well worth a visit. North Market first opened its doors in 1876 and is home to more than 30 vendors, selling a fairly wide range of products from meats, produce, cheeses, flowers, crafts, and baked goods. On certain Saturdays, the market is expanded outside, and on Sundays in June through October, local artwork, furniture, and jewelry are on display. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for access to more travel advice and recommendations. And stick around for a lot more about Columbus. Huntington Park Sports fans visiting Columbus should definitely catch a baseball game at Huntington Park, home stadium of the minor league team, the Columbus Clippers. The atmosphere at the park is pleasant, and both the tickets and concessions are reasonably priced. It can hold up to 10,000 guests, but most of the time, it's not very crowded. This means you can walk around and explore various sections of the park if you want. Ohio Village Located next door to the Ohio History Center, Ohio Village shows visitors what everyday life was like in the 1880s. While the Mock Village is only open regularly during the summer, special events are held throughout the year. Come Halloween, the village is given a spooky makeover, and during the holiday season, it's painted with a coat of Christmas cheer. Columbus Museum of Art At the Columbus Museum of Art, you'll find a mixture of permanent and rotating exhibits, classes, and special events. Make sure, if you're traveling with children, to check out The Wonder Room, where your little ones can play and explore while learning about art and its history. The museum is also free on Sundays. Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens If you want to see beautifully manicured gardens and displays featuring flowers, greenery, and chihuly glass, then the Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens should be on your itinerary. The greenhouses here host more than 400 species of plants found in various climates and regions of the world. They also have several special exhibits scheduled throughout the year to shake things up. Two of the most popular ones are the Blooms and Butterflies exhibit and the Origami in the Gardens event. The Shioto Mile after years of careful planning, calculated organization, and meticulous environmental rehabilitation, the Shioto Mile finally opened in 2015. Spanning acres of parkland and featuring miles of trails that follow the Shioto River, this park is the perfect place to go for a walk, jog, or bike ride. The 15,000-square-foot interactive fountain and splash pad at Bicentennial Park attracts younger guests while the park's summer free concert series draws in adults. The Shioto Mile also has a free outdoor climbing wall, and guests can learn all about environmental and conservation issues at the Audubon Center. Columbus Food Adventure from Harvest Pizza in Clintonville to Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream in Columbus Commons, there are so many great restaurants, bakeries, and cafes in Columbus. One of the best ways to try a decent variety of great places in just one day is by taking a food tour with Columbus Food Adventures. They offer themed food tours like their breakfast tour, meat lovers tour, and all dessert tour. Wexner Center for the Arts the Wexner Center, which is part of Ohio State University, houses a collection of contemporary artworks. Here you'll discover art exhibits, movie screenings, live performances, artist residencies, and educational programs. The exhibits are free on Thursdays after 4 and on the first Sunday of every month. German Village This Columbus neighborhood got its name from the German immigrants who settled in the area in the early 1800s. 
The majority of the neighborhood has maintained its Germanic heritage, and that's evident by the architecture and cuisine that can be found here. German Village's Schmitz Restaurant and Sausage House dishes out delicious sausages, schnitzel, and cream puffs. The neighborhood also holds an annual house and garden tour in the springtime and German Village Oktoberfest come fall. Easton Town Center after exploring the rustic, stuck-in-time aesthetics of German Village, head on over to Easton where you'll find the most modern neighborhood in the city. Its town center was built with contemporary architecture, and inside you'll find a variety of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. Ohio Stadium If you're a big fan of college sports or if you simply want to tick off a Michigan fan, go catch an NCAA game over at Ohio Stadium, or The Shoe, as it's been nicknamed by locals. While the stadium is most closely associated with college football, it also supports other athletic events, concerts, and graduation ceremonies. If you're visiting Columbus or merely passing through en route to somewhere else, making a stop to take in this impressive structure is worth the visit. Otherworld Billing itself as an interactive playground, Otherworld is a relatively new immersive art experience that walks the line between being an art museum, a spaceship, and an escape room. After stepping into the building, you'll be transported into a new and bizarre world. Otherworld was founded by Ohio artist Jordan Renda in 2017. He has previously helped create other escape rooms and haunted houses across the country. Otherworld guests can find their way through 40 rooms packed with interactive art displays and hands-on exhibits. Practically everything in Otherworld was designed to be interacted with. Wagner Hagen's Auto Museum This isn't a very big museum, but worth a visit. They have a decent little collection of 12 cars restored to their original condition and numerous pieces of automobile memorabilia. Unfortunately, they don't have regular hours and tours are by appointment only. Ohio Theater the Ohio Theater is a world-class venue located in the heart of Columbus. From classical music to their pops concerts, the world's best musicians perform with the Columbus Symphony at the Ohio Theater. Modern bands and musicians also regularly play at this 2,700-seat historic theater. The facility itself is beautiful. There's a 21-high-foot chandelier, and its Spanish Baroque architecture makes any night at the Ohio Theater a memorable one. Over 100 performances are held here each year, making it one of the state's busiest performing arts facilities. The acoustics are remarkable, leaving little wonder why it's been a favorite spot of performers like Carol King, Yo-Yo Ma, Yanni, Kenny G, and more. The Ohio State House This state capitol building and seat of government for the U.S. state of Ohio is located on Capitol Square in downtown Columbus and features Greek Revival architecture. The capitol building houses the Ohio General Assembly, consisting of the state's House of Representatives and Senate. It's also home to the ceremonial offices of the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, State Treasurer, and State Auditor. Built between 1839 and 1863, it's one of the oldest functioning state houses in the country. Its prominent architecture has earned it several landmark designations. Most notably, it's included in the National Historic Landmark Registry. Topiary Park this 9.2-acre public park and garden, located in Columbus's Discovery District, is designed to depict figures from George Surratt's 1884 painting, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. It is, in fact, the only park in the world to be based completely on a painting. It used to be part of the campus of the Ohio Institution for the Deaf and Dumb, but today it's owned by the City of Columbus and maintained by the Parks Department. Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum this facility is a research library of American cartoons and comic arts affiliated with the Ohio State University Library System. It was previously called the Cartoon Research Library and holds the world's largest and most comprehensive academic research facility dedicated to documenting and displaying original and printed comic strips, editorial cartoons, and other forms of comic art. And it was named after Ohio cartoonist Billy Ireland. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite spots in Columbus? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.